Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Brian from USA.Patriot.Cards, and I am back with a new video. We are on the other side of the holidays. It is 2023, first video of 2023. Happy New Year. And already the sports world is off with a, um, well, it was frankly, a, a really tragic and sad start. Uh, last night in the Bills and Bengals game, safety DeMar Hamlin course, as most of you probably already know, had a heart attack on the field. Uh, they gave him CPR for nine or so minutes, uh, rushed him to the hospital where he is currently at the time of this video in critical condition, but stable, uh, hoping that he can pull through and hope we can get to the bottom of why this occurred. Um, this isn't the only time that a player has fallen over in a similar manner and suffered a heart attack. It's happening uh, all over the world. Um, and it's, um, you know, it's, it's at, at the very least, um, it's worth looking into and getting a solid answer as to what's happening. I'll leave it at that. Uh, I just want the players uh, that play the sports that I love and the, the players that I collect to be safe. Because what hobby do we have if the players don't feel safe on the field and um, don't want to play their sport anymore? I mean, what happens to the sports card hobby if that doomsday scenario ever occurred? I'm not saying that's where we're at. I'm just saying that we have to make sure in all ways that the players that play the sports that we love and the players that we love to collect feel protected and feel safe when they're playing. With that being said, <clears throat> I'd like to get into a trade that I completed uh, recently. Um, and this trade is for a player that I've been um, talking about now for quite some time. If you've been following my channel, I think Sam Darnold is a uh, very good buy, has been a good buy, continues to be a good buy. His, his prices have ticked up a little bit um, as he returned to start for the uh, Carolina Panthers the past five games. But um, <clears throat> he was on the verge of taking his team from a 1-5 in five start, trading Christian McCaffrey to the 49ers, all the way to winning the NFC South. Had they completed their victory in uh, Tampa Bay, They'd be looking at one more game in New Orleans um, to clinch the NFC South and host a playoff game. Unfortunately, Tom Brady and Mike Evans happened, and the Panthers blew a 21-10 to fourth quarter lead. And even though they're not going to be in the playoffs this year, I think moving forward, the Panthers have at least settled their quarterback issue for a couple years. They might draft somebody in the draft. Um, if they win in New Orleans, I think they're going to be around the ninth pick if they lose they might be a little bit higher um <clears throat> they have des decisions to make uh, should they re reach for one of the top qbs um, should they address their defensive edge problem rushing the quarterback should they bolster their offensive line do they need some secondary help i think after that game sunday they clearly could use some pieces on defense but you know if i was the gm for the panthers i i would consider the quarterback position uh, an issue that needs to be addressed last. Um, I'd re-sign Darnold for two or three years if he's willing to take that deal. I think there's a lot of teams at this point that are looking at Sam Darnold and thinking, you know, he's 25 years old. Um, he's been in the league four years now. Um, he's had a lot of growing pains, but the last five games, the, the level of play we've seen from him has been um, definitely adequate enough for, to, to win a starting job in the NFL. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens with him. I, I doubt that the Carolina Panthers let him walk. Either way, uh, I've been picking up his stuff, uh, dirt cheap. Uh, quickly go through some of this stuff. I've showed on previous videos, but maybe you've seen them, maybe you haven't. This is a, a short print, red, white, and blue, Rookie Auto PSA 10. That was dirt cheap. Um, another Prism Auto Silver PSA 10. The green color match, I think I paid $30 for this PSA 10. You know, 2018 Prism Silvers, you know the story on those. That was the year that you got one silver per hobby box. So um, to, to get a, a rookie quarterback and then to grade it as a 10, got that for like $120. Um, then I have a um, field level select silver here. And I accidentally grabbed a green Josh Rosen. You can see I like to speculate. <laughs> I think Josh Rosen at this point might not even be in the league anymore. So we'll pretend I didn't have that. Uh, but yeah, so these are some of the cards of uh, Sam's that I've been grabbing. But recently, I was able to make a trade for this beauty. The 2018 National Treasures RPA Sam Darnold. 
BGS9, it's only 0.5 away from a BGS9.5. If I can swing this by the Beckett booth at the next Dallas Card Show and see if they'll tick up the edges of the corners just, just by half a point, just to a 9.5, I would be able to raise that entire uh, grade up to a 9.5 and um, definitely make this card uh, even more appealing than it already is. As you can see, it's got one of the nicest patches that I've, that I've seen. Uh, for any RPA, let alone Sam Darnold. Um, I think when you're dealing with National Treasures RPAs, the serial number is, is, is not as important as the patch. What I mean by that, if you've got a gold out of 10, or a silver out of 25, or a bronze out of 49, or how, however it's numbered, the parallels in National Treasures um, aren't as important, the number that is, as the patch. So I'd rather have this card out of 99 than say a two color patch, basic patch out of 10 or out of 25. I don't think people get um, as excited about the serial number on these type of RPAs as they do the patch. And this patch right here, outside of the shield, I think it's got to be the best patch uh, that you're going to see for Sam Darnold in the National Treasure set. So I um, was definitely excited to pick this up and I'll, I'll walk you through what I have to give up to get this. Okay, so uh, essentially I uh, ended up moving a ton of bulk. Um, nice cards, just a ton of bulk. Uh, things that were going to be uh, time consuming for me to move. Um, I probably could have gotten more value from this had I pieced these out individually and just sold them. But I kind of like to do things in bulk. I like to just move a lot, uh, move it into one nice card. Um, you might think I got beat on this. Um, it's debatable. You might think Sam Darnold is a terrible uh, player to trade into, but um, that's the difference between uh, collectors and, and how we move in the hobby. But quickly, I won't go through all of these. Uh, most of them are, they're all rookies. Most of them are nines. Um, highlighting some of the bigger pieces, the green Donovan Mitchell 10 rookie, uh, the Hyper 9, he's coming off a 71 point game last night. Those are nice uh, cards to have at the moment. Some Dak and Zeke's, a Tatum 9 base, um, a nice Brandon Cooks camo uh, auto out of 9, Saquon Barkley silver out of the 2018 Prism set. Those silvers are really rare. Uh, it is a 9. T.J. Watt, field level copper out of 75, a couple Porter, Juniors, a Herter, um, Purple Wave, <clears throat> and then a run of um, four gold vinyls. Now that Will Fuller gold vinyl rookie PSA 10, I had big plans for. I thought he was going to get picked up by a team um, that needed a deep threat. Uh, he'd become relevant again, and he'd be on an NFL roster playing in NFL games, and I thought I could move that for around 400 bucks. Ended up being really just a, a throw-in in this deal. Um, but, you know, he's not even on a roster right now. So, I mean, I was kind of handcuffed into what I could do with that. I mean, if no team picked him up this season, I don't see what's going to entice a team to pick him up next season. I think his career might be over. Uh, a nice gold vinyl Cooper. Um, him and Deshaun Watson seem to be on the same page. They had a nice game together. Gold Vinyl Mike Evans, who is coming off a three-touchdown, 200-yard performance um, and beating the, the Sam Darnold-led pa uh, Panthers. Uh, also a uh, Marshawn Lynch. Now, I PC Marshawn Lynch, so this was a tough one to throw in, but you got to do what you got to do. A uh, select Jamal Murray rookie out of PSA 9. And then this uh, really nice silver De'Aaron Fox PSA 9 prism rookie. Um, were all part of the, the deal. And then the last two cards I had to throw in to sort of make this trade work were two Garbage Pail Kid cards, a, a Smoke and Joe. Now, Smoke and Joe is one of the artists that's been around for a long time. He's, um, he's very re highly regarded in the GPK community. So there's a black and white sketch there. And then an auto that um, out of 25, it's serial numbered on the back that uh, I included to get this deal wrapped up and done. So um, I definitely gave up pieces that, that you know, if someone takes the time to price these out or auction them, uh, they, can, they, can get, they can maximize the value. I was just interested in moving all this bulk uh, for this Sam Darnold uh, RPA. And so that's what I did. Um, I'll just say to cap this off that... Um, a few things need to happen for me to, to feel really good about this. I think 
Sam Darnold needs to find a starting job next year, and I think that's going to be with the Panthers. Uh, hopefully they'll, they'll keep Steve Wilkes as their head coach. Uh, they'll keep Darnold as their starting quarterback, and they'll move on and use draft capital to address other areas. And really, in a weak NFC South, I think they can be right there to, uh, to win that division next year and host a playoff game. Um, this is kind of a boomer bust trade for me. Either Sam Darnold reestablishes himself and moves forward, um, in which case this has potential to be a really big card uh, for him. These National Treasures RPAs with this type of patch typically don't come up. Um, I think this would be a, or they're not, I shouldn't say they don't come up. They're not acquirable um, in a deal like this. I mean, if you look at a Josh Allen RPA, this, this Josh Allen RPA with a, uh, a patch this nice would be, what, a $40,000 card? Um, you know, you look at a Baker Mayfield RPA like this, um, you know, it's going to be up there. I think the total value in this was around eight hundred and fifty. Um, trade value is what I had to trade to move into this card. And I think, you know, it's a speculative play, but I think it's one that um, will, will turn, could turn out nicely for me. And if that is the case and Sam Darnold does come back and is relevant again in the NFL, I have a great card and one that um, Panther fans, including myself, will be uh, proud to own. So that's it. That's the deal. Um, the first deal of the new year. Uh, happy to get the juices flowing again, the trade juices flowing again. Let me know how you think I did. Um, some of you might think I got fleeced. Um, some of you might think it's a great card and you might believe in Sam Darnold similar fashion that I do, in which case you might think I uh, pulled off a nice deal. Either way, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. I appreciate you guys. Um, let me know about your first trade of the new year. Uh, drop it in the comments. Make a video. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. That's for sure. Find me also on Instagram at usa.patriot.cards. I'll follow you back there as well. Let's grow this thing together. Let's hope that the Panthers can... Um, play for their jobs next year. I, I don't think it's going to be a case where Steve Wilkes and Sam Darnold go out there and tank, for le for lack of a better term, to uh, to move up in the draft a couple spots. I think they're going to go out and compete this Sunday in New Orleans, and they're going to fight for their jobs. Uh, it's a really important game uh, for both those individuals. So I'll be watching, and um, yeah, thanks again, guys. We'll see you on the next one.